Support for Just Seen It comes from Warner Archive Instant. Streaming hard to find movies and TV shows direct from the studio at WarnerArchiveInstant.com. Support for Just Seen It comes from Weaver's Coffee and Tea, makers of hand roasted artisan coffee and hand blended tea. Learn more at Weaver'sCoffee.com. Kimball Beauty, offering a complete line of hair care products, is a proud sponsor of Just Seen It. Great hair equals great confidence. Learn more at KimballBeauty.com. While on vacation at Disney World, Jim finds out he's been laid off. Keeping the news from his family, he does his best to enjoy the day but he uncovers a frightening side of the Magic Kingdom he never knew existed in Escape from Tomorrow. Hi, I'm Sean. I'm Rachel. And I'm Aaron, and today we're here to talk about the low-budget film Escape from Tomorrow. We've all just seen it. Sean, what did you think of this wonderfully interesting picture? Well, yes, it's <laughs> wonderfully interesting because it was shot on Disney parks without Disney's permission. Yes. Perhaps what? the most interesting part of the film is the story of how it was made. By far. <laughs> well, I do think it's bold for the filmmaker to have done what he did in making this movie, but the movie itself, judging it as what it is, it... it it's confusing. It doesn't make a lot of sense. It There's could, a story, but I don't know what it is. It, it yeah. was bewildering. I feel like everybody walked out of the movie theater going, what? You can't really judge it like a normal film, no. which isn't, which isn't uh, a free pass, per se. But we have a first-time writer-director, Randy Moore. And for me, the writing is sort of the, the simultaneous best and worst part of the movie. <laughs> well, because, <laughs> the, because the themes are so ridiculous. The, some of the scenes are so absurd. I think that he had a very clear feeling in his head of what everything meant, and to him it must have seemed like it was very obvious because he, do he doesn't else. really explain it in his... <laughs> yeah. And then the other thing is that a lot of the script has been written and edited, um, but then some of the script, there's just sort of like these puzzle pieces where he's like, oh, you know what would be great? Let's add this scene in. And so there was a lot of stuff shot in hotels there's and other no things that add on. It's really unclear about its through line. I mean, we've got hallucinations that we can't That tell. are never justified. Yeah, well... I mean, they could be justified, but visually you can't tell the difference because of the way the film was shot. It was shot on Canon 5Ds. They did very little exciting post-production special effects stuff. So it just, it feels campy and it's ridiculous. It made me laugh, but it's not a good movie. It seemed very naturalistic. When you're watching it, you feel sort of like you're, you're spying on people rather than watching a movie. Yeah, and then being in Disneyland certainly helps. The father, Roy Abramson, I didn't think was fantastic. Uh, he's okay, kind of plays to the camera sometimes, but the kids were pretty good. I mean, yeah. they, I believe that they were these kids. They were genuine. I think yeah. that they thought they were going to go on a vacation to Disney World, and so you just film them doing that, and they're <laughs> they're giddy and happy, and everything's fine. Right. But I mean, if you're if you're going to try and present me a story that I can relate to about Disney World is for the kids, and it's an illusion and a fantasy, and when you grow up, you're disconnected from that. I wish I had a different protagonist. I wish I had someone yeah. that I could follow along with. When yeah. you're sitting there ogling. You know, teenage girls, I'm young, just young, very young. Teenage very girls. Young I mean, they're like girls. 16. They're, they're like 14. But they're, but they're French. <laughs> As an experiment, just knowing how the film was made and knowing, you know, all the things that they had to go through and yeah. all the controversy with Disney, it makes it an interesting watch. It's it, just it not is. a good movie. I mean, first of all, right. this is the only film where you ever see, like, the inside of the Disney parks and you're actually seeing, like, footage of the rides, which, in black and white, Super is cool. mesmerizing. Yeah. It is impressive and bold that the filmmakers did this, shooting this movie at, at Disney parks, and they weren't caught. But... You know, just because you do that, I, I, I want something better as a product to come out of that idea. So our creative force behind this picture is writer-director Randy Moore. This is his first film. I mean, as a director, he, he takes some risks. I mean, we have weird Dutch angles. They, he uses lighting very well. It just, visually, it was like a, like a psychosexual dreamscape. It was just so interesting. Probably only about fifty percent of the of the movie that we see is in the park. Is in the yeah, park, and that even room. might be a generous percentage. It sure. might be less than that. They are in the Disney Hotel, but there's a lot of things that I think were done in 
later on and yeah. stages. Yeah, and it says that it's, it's unfortunate that that had to happen, but right. that they did have to reshoot. They reshot background to use for green screen. Yeah, and, and because the production values aren't very good, yes. it... <laughs> It makes the story behind the film more interesting. I mean, you sort of excuse the bad production values because you know that they, they did it the guerrilla style, yeah. I think it was an experiment that didn't work. If anything, I hope it maybe emboldened some other filmmakers to try Something. crazy, yeah. weird yeah, guerrilla yeah. stuff like this, and we'll see what comes out of it, and maybe somebody can make a good picture doing something like this. Uh, this just isn't the one. This project is gutsy, but the story could use more clarity and more definition. For cool, illicit footage of Disney World Land, I give it a stream it. Escape from Tomorrow is a lot more interesting to read about and talk about than it is to experience. It's not a vacation worth taking. Skip it. This movie definitely feels like a crazy experiment, and while I did enjoy watching it, it's definitely not going to be the thing that everybody enjoys, so I say stream it. Our votes add up to one ticket, which is a stream it for Escape from Tomorrow. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> And ironically, Randy Moore was the voice of the princess in Tangled. Oh, I'm sorry, that was Mandy Moore. <laughs> I'm sorry. Kimball Beauty, offering a complete line of hair care products, is a proud sponsor of Just Seen It. Great hair equals great confidence. Learn more at KimballBeauty.com. Support for Just Seen It comes from Warner Archive Instant. Streaming hard to find movies and TV shows direct from the studio at WarnerArchiveInstant.com. Support for Just Seen It comes from Weaver's Coffee and Tea, makers of hand roasted artisan coffee and hand blended tea. Learn more at Weaver'sCoffee.com. <laughs>